News Director at KWAB TV Channel 4. John Cohn was 23 when he took that job. The guy that went out and, you know, took pictures of news stories. The guy that did interviews, that, that was me too. The guy that... <laughs> So it was a one-man department. Run-of-the-mill stories were covered with Polaroid pictures shown with this telop machine. But for major stories... We had a, it was a Bolex 16-millimeter camera, silent film, and it was black and white. There was an automatic developer, and it would come out. you just grab it, hand it to the engineer, go on the air, and just wing it. I would say it was mostly community-friendly. Now, we did cover accidents, fires, anything major. And that was the year that we did the major renovation of downtown, widened out the streets and, and made it more shopper-friendly. Do you remember the Petta Zoo that was located out on the South Highway? They'd get in a new animal, and we'd go out and take pictures. Of course, Friday night, we would do all of the, during the football season, all of the high school football scores. I invented... A high school, they were the Ronaldo Mustang. All of the players and the coach were named after brands of liquor. The coach was Jack Daniels. We had the Walker brothers, Johnny and Hiram, both receivers. Irving William I.W. Harper. There was an Indian on that team. They just called him O. Crow. And they ran the famous stagger wing formation. Every week, we would do a uh, an interview show with the Big Spring High School football coach, Herman Smith. He had been watching uh, our coverage of the high school scores. We were sitting there waiting to begin the show. Coach Smith asked, what do you know about this stagger wing formation that Rinalda's running? Because, of course, Rinalda was just beating the tar out of everybody. Coach Smith wanted to know about it for the Big Spring Steers. Next time, a man who helped with the first live TV broadcast of a Big Spring Steers football game. I'm Jack Bowen reporting for KBST.